Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week I head out after my first roebuck of the season. It's been a late start due to the Covid lockdown, but cameraman Stuart Wilson and I make the very best of a bad job. Well, it's the first morning out at the books uh, since the COVID lockdown. Uh, so we're now allowed to be out on the estate. Uh, we went out this morning. Uh, it's a difficult one because normally we would have done all the reccing, had a good idea where all the books were and uh, concentrated on a particular area, working the wind. Uh, so as it was, we, we basically had to drive around. Uh, there's good access here. Uh, a lot of uh, chalk roads, uh, private roads around the estate, so there's good access. So the, the, the plan was to basically head out, spy a book, uh, spy the right book, and then uh, make a plan from there. Uh, unfortunately, we never saw any books, everything but. It was a great morning to be out. Uh, it was grand in every sense. Uh, we, we dropped pretty much straight onto uh, a dur. She was happy enough and she was uh, bouncing away through the crop. Uh, there was every chance a book was with her, uh, but we got a good look with the binoculars and, and she was on her own. Uh, and she, she skipped uh, skipped away. A uh, lot of nature about, dropped onto some yellow wagtails, uh, which were a yeah, grand sight, good to see. Uh, always nice to see the nature. Uh, went on, moved on, made every use of the... Uh, Swarovski optics, uh, using the uh, the big binoculars and 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 the draw scope, uh, but yeah, we couldn't find a book. Uh, plenty of nature, as I said. Lapwings, a pair of lapwings there that were uh, busy raising a family. Uh, some really good close-up uh, looks at mizzle thrush, uh, which are, they're quite shy. You usually, just see them go chuck chuck and they're away, but uh, these guys were hunting in the uh, freshly sprouted maize crop so we got a good chance to have a look at them uh, which was great to see uh, and then we, we came upon another doe uh, she was hidden in in some rough grass and she kind of thought we couldn't see her uh, so she stayed stayed still there was a, a good chance to to get the the draw scope on her and, and, and have a nice close close look and she was uh, just coming into f full summer coat so she still still had the remnants of a of the winter coat and a few tufts, so we got a, a, a nice look at her, she was in uh, good order, uh, but still no books. So moved on, checked out a high seat, uh, we have a little bit of intel from the keeper uh, who'd seen a, seen a book coming out on a, a game crop, so I just checked out the, the high seat as uh, we haven't been able to do that, uh, so we may make use of that uh, high seat in the, in the near future. Uh, but uh, this morning, no books, four hours looking inspiring, but it was an enjoyable four hours and great to be out after the COVID lockdown. So we'll, uh, we'll see what this afternoon, this evening brings.
okay what we got is uh, a small bug I saw him skip in into the hedge uh, we've backed off uh, I'm gonna go up this is a, a lower hedge I'm not too happy about uh, we can't really get a shot in here until we get over the brow he's been working in in and out of the, the, the this hedge uh, I'm gonna pull out go back up uh, this hedge that runs off at 90 degrees it's rising ground uh, and we get at the top of there we can look back down he's working inside in and out and inside actually inside the hedge if he comes out on that side uh, it's fine there's lots of big gaps in this hedge all the way along so I think if we pull out go back up uh, actually up the way the way we came in uh, we should be higher into the dead ground we should get a, a decent time shot downhill into this dead ground here uh, but it's no good going going along the hedge never push a bad position It's toast. Ah, oh, he's he's done. Yeah, he's not going to go far. Yeah, that, uh, that 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 was an interesting book. He's been pushed out. He's on the periphery. All a good habitat. He's that way. Two fields that way. Field behind us here in the wood. He's just up, been pushed out, living in the hedge here, side of this rape. Uh, he's probably had his uh, backside kicked by a bigger buck. Uh, we've seen him on two two occasions. So just hanging around here and. It's good to actually get the one that you were looking for. Yeah. Felt like a good shot and sounded like a good shot. He's down, moved 10 yards, hit hit well. It was a good reaction. Good there, shot, but it? Great reaction. Yeah, yeah, he, he, was, he was literally dead on his hooves. So I'll give him another five minutes and uh, then we'll walk in. But yeah, beautiful evening. Hey fever give, giving me a little bit of jip, but uh, other than that, yeah, couldn't be any better.
Yeah, the uh, the whole gym shocky tripod. It's great. Uh, I mean, I must have had this is the second one that I've had uh, when they first came out. Uh, so it must be this one must be two, three years old. But the one that I had prior to that, I had it for six years, and I once lost it. Uh, I was stocking down a, a drain and left it there. Sh sh shot the book, went in, came back, forgot all about the sticks. And then uh, I found it the following year, same time of year, uh, stalking the same uh, hedge and drain. Uh, but these are great. Look, you hang your binoculars on there. There's a, there's a lot of equipment there. Very, very solid. Uh, the rifle can go up there. The binoculars can go on there. It's great. All safe, all unloaded. Uh, no grit, no, no crap getting into the mechanism of the rifle. All good. We, we eventually got into a doe. Uh, she was tucked tight into a hedge. Uh, so, so we started to stalk down the hedge and there was a buck with her. Uh, either screwy antler, one antler to the left sort of sticking out. Uh, and, and then a, 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 a single point that was sort of bent round. It was quite unusual, uh, but good one again to shoot. We have seen him uh, in, in uh, the previous season and, and seen him on the trail cameras. Uh, so I knew he was there. Um, but uh, they just caught our wind and, 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 and they were aware. Uh, I think it was movement of, uh, of the camera when they picked up and then, uh, and then the wind. <laughs> uh, so then we moved on. Uh, we went back to the, uh, one of the tributaries into the, into the trout stream and uh, there was a big buck, a big old solid buck. Uh, I would like to have got a better look at him uh, before we shot him because I think he was a, a buck I've watched for a couple of years actually uh, down in Young Oaks. And he seems to have moved up into into the big wood. Uh, got a really good look at him. He, he, he was laid down just on the bark side. I got the sticks up to try and wound the scope up to get get, get a bit better look because he, he'd actually seen me. I was a little bit hesitant. He was only 80, 82, 83 yards away, I think. And uh, yeah, he decided he didn't like us and and trotted off to safer pastures. Uh, and you can tell it's June. The covers up. Uh, because of the COVID uh, situation, we never got out in April and May. It was a very early April this year, beautiful weather. So the books were, were actually out and establishing the territories early. Family groups split up, so clearly they had a really good time, quiet countryside. Uh, so it comes to trying to catch up really by now, second week uh, in, 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 uh, in June, I would have probably shot 12, 15, 16 books by now. Uh, so this is the first one. Good one to get. Uh, we've actually had four outings and really struggled. So I average uh, usually one in three. Uh, so we've had four outings already. This is the fifth outing. Uh, yeah, good, uh, uh, good cool buck, young buck, uh, being pushed out. He, he was on the periphery here. 
it couldn't have been any better really um we, we we've been out since five so we, we've stocked all the hedgerows been to all the places where we knew there were books be, uh, prior to the season starting uh, and just really struggled but it's just just the cover southeast wind and east winds never good for stalking uh starvation winds um but you won't get anything by sitting sitting at home uh so so we came out and uh hey look we got to start the browning x-bolt pro carbon ultra light ultra rigid and pinpoint accuracy your high standards are your greatest attribute you won't accept failure you need a gun that reflects your character effective and results oriented you never look for excuses the Xbolt Pro Carbon is designed for you. It handles like a featherweight, allowing you to push your active hunting limits. The rigidity of the stock gives you even greater accuracy. For more information, please visit the link in the description box below. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, in these times, it really is time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.